Hey, what's up everybody? What we're going to check out today is how we can get a tune into Pro Tools and then chop that tune up into its individual pieces like verses and choruses and intros and breakdowns and all that kind of stuff and get each of those pieces locked onto the Pro Tools grid. Now again, remember what that means is that Pro Tools bars and beats markers will be lining up with the bars and beats of the actual song. Why do we want to do that? Because then it's way easier to figure out how to come up with our own version, our own cover version or imitation of that song in this exercise. Okay, so let's do it. The song that I've chosen as an example is Kids by MGMT. So I've got it here in the Finder. Um, I drag it down into Pro Tools Edit Window and drop it into this late grade portion. And Pro Tools makes the track for me. Remember, don't make a track and drag the song in. Just drag the song in and Pro Tools will make the track for you. Okay, all right, now let's give a quick listen to make sure that we're hearing everything. Okay, now let's hear where the first beginning of this song is. It's gonna be coming up right here. Okay, there's the downbeat, that kick drum right at the beginning, okay? So in order to get a better view here, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna pull my track down. I'm gonna put my cursor roughly where that beginning is and zoom in, and there it is. There's the beginning of that first kick drum right there. Okay, so I want to cut the piece right there because that's going to be my first hunk of the song, that intro that just has drums and a synth line and kid sounds, right? That's a lot of kids. Okay, so I need to cut it right there and I want to show you a really cool shortcut for doing that. Now remember, if we want to do this manually, what we'd have to do is zoom in until we can really see the very beginning of that kick drum. Uh, I want to be in slip mode here so I can get in between my grid marks. And that's right there, right? Um, so I could cut it, and I would have to cut it right at a zero crossing, meaning right where the waveform crosses the horizontal axis. Well, here's a quicker way to do this. It's cool. Um, it's called Tab to Transients. And check out this little button right there. See how it says Tab to Transients? As long as you click on that and it turns blue and is on and active, then when I hit the Tab key, what Pro Tools is going to do is move me to the next transient. And transient, remember, is the word for just the very beginning of a waveform, like this kick that I'm trying to get to. So I hit tab, and boom, it takes me right there to the beginning of that kick. And if I zoom in, I can see that it selected that exact same point that we were talking about, a zero crossing right at the beginning of the song. So I can now hit Command E to separate that region, and there it is. I've kind of cut to the very beginning of my piece, okay? All right, now <clears throat> I have to find the end of this section, okay? And while we're doing this, let's also count and see how many bars it is until something else happens. We're going to count one, two, three, four. Every time we do, it's a bar, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Second bar, two, three, four. Third bar, two, three, four. Fourth bar, two, three, four. Fifth bar, two, three, four. Sixth bar, two, three, four. Seventh bar, two, three, four. Eight, two, three, four, boom. And then it comes in with the bass and a couple other synths. So this is the point that I'm looking for. And it's eight bars after the beginning of that intro, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, remember, here's where I'm trying to cut at. So I'm just gonna get a little bit before that point, hit tab. It didn't quite take me there. Uh, it saw another transient. So I keep hitting it until I get to the beginning of that waveform. There it is, and I hit Command D, okay? Now, here's my first hunk of the song, my first eight bars of the song, okay? Cool. All right, now what I want to do is get Pro Tools to know this is eight bars long and lock it onto Pro Tools grid so that it actually reflects that, that it's eight bars long. But before I do that, I got to be careful. I want the tempo of Pro Tools to be pretty close to the tempo of the tune that I'm doing, okay? Now, if you're not sure what the BPM, the tempo of the tune is, um, there's an easy way to find out. I know this is supposed to be eight bars. And let me actually just change the tempo here really quick to something else because this is actually already very close to what it is. So I'm just going to change it to 100 just so that we can see how this works, okay? All right. <clears throat> now, here's another thing to do before you actually use this trick, okay? We're going to switch our... Um, uh, we're going to switch from samples to ticks, um, and what that's going to do is allow the front of the region to stay stuck onto whatever bar marker I decide to stick it onto. And I'm going to go into grid mode so that I can stick it onto a bar, and I'm going to lock it onto the fifth bar right there. Okay, we can see up here we're at bar five. Okay, so now when I change the tempo, 
um, it's going to stay locked onto bar 5, even though bar 5 is going to move. Okay? Because remember, when I change the tempo, the grid either stretches out or comes together. Okay, now this is supposed to be 8 bars. Well, it starts at 5, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a half bars. Okay? It should go 7, 8 bars to 13, but it doesn't. It stops at about 11 and a half. That's because the grid is too stretched out. Right? Eight bars is further away than it should be. I want to bring that 13th bar right here so that it lines up with the end of my region. Okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to change the tempo. I'm going to make it faster. Making it faster stretches the grid, excuse me, compresses the grid together. Making it slower stretches the grid out. Okay, so um, let's do it. I'm going to double click on the red triangle and I'm going to put in, let's say, 120. Okay? Uh, whoops, my other piece kind of got in the way, so let's take a look here. All right, now what happened? 13 has almost, um, whoops, let me move over. Here we go, sorry. Um, 13 has almost moved over to the end of my region, but not quite. And that means I'm still a little too slow. I want to scrunch up the grid a little bit more. So let's try and get even a little bit closer. Um, let's make it 123. And, okay, wow, that's really close. So now I know that my tempo is very, very close to the tempo of this, of this song but not exactly. I still want to make it exactly. So I'm going to get Pro Tools to stretch this thing out to make it exactly 8 bars. To do that, I need a polyphonic plug-in. Remember, I'm right here, okay, at my Elastic Audio plug-in on my track. Um, I'm going to select polyphonic. I pretty much always select polyphonic. Thinks about it for a minute, analyzes the song. Now I can tell Pro Tools, hey, make this 8 bars exactly by going to Regions, Elastic Properties, and, oops, I didn't select it yet. Okay, select it with the hand, and there we go. Um, I'm going to see it's 8 and a little bit longer still. Man, I was really close, but I'm going to make it 8 exactly. I'm just going to hit 8 again. I get zeros in the rest of the fields, and I hit return. It's in source length that I'm here in Elastic Properties, right? Okay, <clears throat> so now I know this thing is exactly locked onto the grid, all right? Now we just keep going with this process. Let's listen to the next part of the tune, and let's see how long it is before a new part of this tune starts, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Second bar, third bar, fourth bar. Okay, well, I'm gonna like bore you to tears because it's actually 16 bars before something else happens, and that's over here somewhere. Okay, and that's where the first verse starts. Okay, so just trust me that if we counted, we get up to 16 bars here. All right, so let's zoom in and let's find the beginning of that section again. It's right there, okay? So, somewhere right in there, okay? Um, now, I can try tab to transients. It's gonna be trickier here because as you can see, the start of the transient is not so clear. So, I'm gonna try it though. I'll hit tab, and it took me to right there. That looks like a pretty good guess. So, I'm gonna hit command E to separate, zoom back out, and now I have the next part of the tune, which is a 16 bar hunk. If I click on it, my elastic properties are still open. Um, I can change this to 16 exactly. Hit return. And now I have the next hunk of my song. I can lock it onto the grid here, onto the end of my first piece. And I can see it goes from 13 to 29, which we do our math is 16 bars. So cool. That's basically the idea. We just keep going through repeating this process until we have each piece. Um, before we go, one more trick. Once you've got these pieces chopped up, really good idea to rename them. Double click on a region with the hand, and this first piece is our intro, so I'm going to call it intro. But there was two pieces. This is intro light, maybe, and this is intro heavy, where the bass and other stuff comes in. So I'll double click intro heavy. Okay, keep going verse by verse until you got your whole song chopped up. Once it's chopped up, then you can really dive in and start coming up with your own cover version. Right on.